Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Sheryl, and for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. When we say routine problem, it is a translation problem in which you can write an equation. It is a type of problem which there is an immediate solution. While non-routine problem, it does not have a path to the answer. It is not readily known and requires resolution. It is a problem which requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. For our first problem, it is a routine problem. A math book is 3 and 76 centimeters thick. How thick will 32 math books on a shelf be? To answer our problem, we need to understand what is asked in the problem. In our problem, it is asking for the thickness of 32 math books on a shelf. What are the given facts in the problem? The given facts are 3 and 76 centimeters thick per math book and there are 32 math books. After understanding the problem, next is we're going to make a plan. In a routine problem, we're going to know what operation to be used. So, in our problem, we're going to use multiplication. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is 3 and 76 hundredths times 32 is equal to n. Next is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's multiply 3 and 76 hundredths and 32. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2 regroup 1. 2 times 7 is equal to 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. 5 regroup 1. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Next is we're going to multiply 3 to the multiplicand. 3 times 6 is equal to 18, 8, regroup 1, 3 times 7 is equal to 21, plus 1 is equal to 22, 2, regroup 2, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, plus 2 is equal to 11. Next is, we're going to add the partial products. Bring down 2, 5 plus 8 is 13, 3, regroup 1, 1 plus 7 plus 2 is equal to 10, 0 regroup 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, bring down 1. Next is we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. We have two decimal places. So we're going to affix two decimal places also in our product. Okay, therefore, the thickness of 32 math books on the shelf is 120 and 32 centimeters. The last step is we're going to check or look back. There are ways to check the solution for this problem. One way is by estimation. 3 and 76 hundredths rounds to 4. 32 times 4 is equal to 128. And if we're going to round it off to the nearest whole number, it estimates to 100. 3 and 76 hundredths times 32 is equal to 120 and 32 hundredths rounds to 100 also. Therefore, we have a reasonable answer. Our next example is a non-routine problem. How we can solve a non-routine problem? 
we can guess and test our trial and error. Working backwards, drawing a picture, diagram, or sketch making, looking for patterns, and we can make a chart or table. This is our problem. The product of two decimal numbers is 24 hundredths. Their sum is 1. What are the two decimal numbers? This is an example of non-routine problem. To answer the non-routine problem, first we are going to understand what is asked. It is asking for the two decimal numbers. What are the given facts? The given facts are 24 hundredths, products of two decimal numbers, and one, the sum of the two decimal numbers. The next step is we're going to plan. To solve this kind of problem, we're going to list all the possible factors of 24 hundredths. And we're going to use the guess and test or trial and error. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan, listing the factors of 24 hundredths and guess and test or the trial and error. It is not so easy to find the factors of 24 hundredths, but we can use the facts of multiplying decimal number. In multiplying decimal number, multiply just like multiplying whole number. So, we can get first the factors of 24. What are the factors of 24? Okay, 24 times 1 is equal to 24. 12 times 2 is equal to 24. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Next, we're going to put a decimal point to our factors. Okay, this is 2 and 4 tenths times 1 tenth is equal to 24 hundredths. 1 and 2 tenths times 2 tenths is equal to 24 hundredths. 6 tenths times 4 tenths is equal to 24 hundredths. Okay, next is we're going to check which of the factors if we're going to add, the answer is equal to 1. Okay, 2 and 4 tenths plus 1 tenth is equal to 2 and 5 tenths. Next is 1 and 2 tenths plus 2 tenths is equal to 1 and 4 tenths. Okay, next is 6 tenths plus 4 tenths is equal to 1. Okay, therefore... The two decimal numbers are 6 tenths and 4 tenths. Okay, next is we're going to check or look back. 6 tenths times 4 tenths is equal to 24 hundredths. Okay, in our problem it is said that the product of two decimal numbers is equal to 24 hundredths. So, it's correct. And another condition in our problem is their sum is 1. Okay, let's add 6 tenths and 4 tenths. Okay, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. 0, regroup 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. Then copy decimal point. Okay, how it becomes 1? 0 after a decimal point without a non-zero digit is insignificant 0, so we can cancel this one and decimal point. So we have an answer of 1. So we get the correct answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching!